All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are gonna be taking on the legendary Goku event with a team that I've decided to officially call the Ningen Destroyers. Now, if that title wasn't obvious enough, it's essentially a squad comprised of only Goku Blacks and Zamasu's. So without further ado, let's quickly check out this team before we jump into the event, starting with my AGL Zamasu, who I believe has two dupes, 79%, not too bad. And we also have the new Int LR Rose at 100%. And for anybody that's like, whoa, when did that happen? Because last time I saw he had two dupes, maybe three. That means you guys missed the summoning video from yesterday. So make sure to go check it out through the link above my head. It was pretty insane. So there's the Rainbow Rosé. He has a level 3 attack skill orb and a level 2 crit chance skill orb. I know, not the best. Definitely could be a better setup, but this is the best I've got right now. Oh, by the way, quick side note. It's been, what, like a month since the Whis event first came out? And I've been doing it every single day. Haven't missed a day yet. And for some reason, I still do not have a single cold skill orb. On my account. What's up with that Bandai? I'm just saying, it's just, it's getting ridiculous at this point. And I just want one, man. I don't care what it is, just give me one gold skill orb so I can say I have one, you know? But anyways, getting back to the team, there's the Rose. We also have the Tech, Rose, and Zamasu. A bit of a throwback here, because obviously they're very, very old at this point, but still pretty solid in my opinion. They have one dupe. Yo, that 15% that heal at the start of the turn is still super, super clutch, and they still put out some pretty impressive damage in my opinion. So there's the Roseanne Zamasu. We got the new EZA free to play LR Goku Black, who of course is rainbowed. We have the Int Goku Black that transforms into Rose at 90%. The EZA Fusion Zamasu is rainbowed. And finally, a rainbow friend Zamasu, who actually looks pretty sick with the sticker. I mean, it's not my favorite effect, but it's smart if you think about it because there's three stages. So it's kind of like you're getting three sticker effects, you know, with one sticker. So a very economical use of your sticker for units like this. But still, like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't look that nice in my opinion. But anyways, there's the friend, there's the team, and let's jump in. Here we go. By the way, if you guys missed it, I did bring a couple of Deborah cookies because what I want to do is try to nuke the MUI Goku at the end with the Int Rose and see if we can maybe one-shot him. I mean, I don't know if it's possible to be honest, but it's worth a shot. So that's going to be fun. Make sure to stick around for that. Uh, should I put the two LRs together or should I keep the AGL Zamasu in rotation? I think I'm going to keep the LR, so let's put the Tech, Rose, and Zamasu in the front. And we'll try to kill the Goku with the uh, LR Goku Black to get that like final blow effect if we can. Although I doubt it. We, we would have to get really lucky. Like we would have to get like a crit and then also an additional that also crits to kill this Goku, which is very unlikely, but it is possible. Yeah, so I've been- ooh! Yo! Is it literally going to do exactly what I said? Because we got the first crit? Dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm a fortune teller, man. What can I say? I'm a fortune teller. Okay, so we got the first final blow. That's an additional 20% attack and defense on his passive right there. Um, I was going to say, though, I've been using this team a ton recently. And it is a lot of fun, man. It is a really fun team. It's really hard, especially the Int Rosé. And, uh, you know, survivability-wise, it actually does have a decent amount of survivability because you're, you're getting so much healing from a bunch of these units. But the issue is the defense. I'll be honest, man. Defensively, they're not the most impressive. I mean, this Goku Black actually stacks infinitely. So over time, he does become quite tanky. But it takes a while. As you can see, man, that first super did almost 200k to us. Eventually, you know, later on, when he stacks defense, we'll be fine. But uh, a lot of these units are kind of squishy, right? The new Int Rose, not the best defensively. Um, obviously, you know, Tech, Rose, and Zamasu, 
a little bit lacking too. Uh, tech Merge Zamasu. Uh, the free to play LR Goku Black can be pretty decent defensively, but it takes a while for him to you know, build up that defense too. So basically, what I'm trying to say is we're definitely not going for a no item run here. All right, we're definitely not doing that because I just don't think it's going to happen. Um, I'm not saying it's impossible, just to be clear. I do think if you get good RNG, you get really lucky, you know, the supers always land on the right units and all that stuff, then you can definitely beat this event with no items using this team. But it's just going to take too much trial and error. I don't think it's worth the effort. So we will be using some items, but I'll try to be fairly conservative. Like if I don't have to use all of them, we won't. But the main purpose of this video is just to have fun, all right? Just have fun with these units, have fun with this team, um, and yeah, I think so far we're doing we're doing okay. <laughs> Man, I, I love the rose, and I it still blows my mind, honestly, that like he's at a hundred percent right now. I I just I, I didn't expect it. I'm not trying to flex on anybody. I, I have to always say this, right? Because I feel like sometimes people might get triggered. Um, because it seems like I'm like showing off or flexing, which I'm not trying to do. What I'm trying to say is like, I'm just blown away, man. Because I came into th the second part of this, sh of this uh, celebration, the anniversary, expecting like one, maybe, you know, two copies of like each of the LRs. I was going to do like a thousand stones. I was like, if I get one copy or like two of each of them, that'd be awesome. That'd be fantastic. And then... We just kept pulling the Rosé, like I, I don't know what it was and it was actually weird because I kept pulling Rosé but I never pulled another Broly. In the first video that we did, like we streamed my initial summons when the banner first dropped and I spent like, you know, 400 stones, pulled one copy of Rosé, one copy of Broly and I was originally just going to call it there, right? But then people you know, have a way of getting to me, and uh, they were like, dude, you gotta keep going, man, your luck is crazy right now, just just keep going, try for a dupe, so I did, got another rosé, and then I got another rosé after, off camera, and then I think it was on a stream where I pulled my third dupe, or was that also off camera? Dupes three and four, or, or two and three, might have been off camera, just off like random, random multis, and then, uh, yeah, after that, yesterday, <laughs> I did the video. I was like, you know what? I have to I have to go for it, man. I have to at least try because the luck has been so wild that if I don't try, I won't forgive myself. I'm going to be always questioning what could have been. So we went for it and clearly it worked out. But uh, I'm really hoping you guys are having some good luck as well. I, I'm sorry if you're getting shafted. I mean, it does happen, obviously. It's part of the game. And hopefully you guys have better luck in the future if that's the case. But uh, yeah, your boy's luck has just been outrageous. Like that's really the only way to put it, outrageous, man. So, uh, oh, man, it's a tough choice here because I want the, the Int Rosé. Well, oh, they're both Int Rosés, actually. I want the TUR Rosé to keep stacking defense, but, I, but then I want the LR one to get the final blow to get more key. I don't, I'm not really sure what to do here. Um. I think it probably is more important to get more defense for the TUR, so we'll, we'll, we'll go for that. And, you know, eventually, like, the LR will get more final blows, too, so it'll be fine. Yeah, that's one complaint a lot of people have about the LR Rosé, right? His defense, or not his defense, well, yes, his defense, but also his key, right? A lot of people are like, yo, this guy has so many key issues, just doesn't get enough key. And that is a real problem only in the beginning of events, right? Like when he first started out, before he's had a chance to kill anybody, he might struggle to get that 18 key super, but after a couple of like turns, after he gets to deliver a few final blows, he gives himself he gives himself so much key in, on his passive that it's never really an issue after that. Like when you, you'll see at the end of this event, this dude is actually gonna be, um, getting like a ton of key like without even giving him any orbs like I think I think when he's fully stacked up on his passive he will have like a 17 or 18 key super ready to go before getting any orbs from the board so yeah like I, I, I do think yeah key can be an issue for him but not for longer events like this and the defense is definitely the bigger issue 
But defensively, I feel like I didn't give him enough credit before because the more I've tested him, the more I've noticed that like he can still hold his own defensively as long as you let him super first. So don't put him in the first slot. If you put him in the first slot and he gets supered before he has a chance to super, then yeah, you're most likely screwed in a lot of situations. But if you put him in the second slot and you let him attack first and he greatly raises defense or maybe even supers twice with the additional and greatly raises twice, then he can still be pretty tanky actually. So yeah, he's not too bad from a defensive perspective. And you also factor in the fact that he can give you some healing too, 6% HP on turns he gets hit. And then uh, overall, this team is just really good at healing because you got the Age of Zamasu's healing you, you got the LR Rose and Zamasu healing you for 15% at the start of the turns that they're on rotation. And uh, overall, yeah, even though, as I said in the beginning of this video, this team can be pretty squishy. Um, you know, you, you won't die that easily, right? Unless you like take a couple supers on the first turn and like on Super Bad Road, for example, you take a bunch of supers, then you're still dead. But with all the healing and all the defensive potential of some of these guys, this team can survive pretty decently. But that's not really why, why I use it. It's really just for the crazy damage output of the Intel or Rose, let's be honest. And he's awesome, man. I, he's an awesome, awesome unit. I don't think he's as good as the Fusions, of course. I think the Blue Fusions are much better. I think a lot of units are much better, actually. Uh, Jiren, for example. Um, Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Um, who else? I, th I think, honestly, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku or Gumku is better than him as well. Just like because of the combination of the defense and the offense and um, what else? Oh, he also can seal. Yeah, and oh, he lowers attack and defense too, right? So yeah, he's just more useful in more situations, I guess. But still, I love Rosé. I love Rosé. All right, uh, enough talking. Let me focus on this run a bit. What should I do on this turn? We're at, we're at 110,000 defense. For the Roseanne's Amasu. 100,000 defense for the Goku Black. I, I don't think we need an item here. I don't think we need an item here. So I'm going to just give these guys a super. Give him a super. Kind of wanted to save it for the Rose, but... Nah, it's fine. And there we go. So yeah, guys, things have been pretty good recently. Um, I'm, I am going to be taking a break from summoning for sure until the next banner drops. And that's going to be probably in about a week and a half to two weeks. No, more like a week and a half. More like a week and a half. So uh, yeah, when that happens, I will be summoning again, of course. But I'm probably going to take it pretty easy. Maybe like one or two videos at most. Just because I've been going so crazy recently, the bank account. It's not too bad, but you know, it's taken a hit for sure. There's been a dent made in it. So we need to take it, we need to just take it easy, uh, save some money for the upcoming download celebration because that's gonna be insane, right? Just looking at how good, like the uh, transforming ultimate trunks, ultimate trunks, transforming ultimate Gohan. It's just seeing how broken he is. Um, I'm, I'm actually like scared to even think about how good the download celebration units are gonna be because they've got to be more broken than the ultimate gohan right i mean unless i was thinking about this actually i was thinking about this uh did they make the ultimate gohan super like outrageously busted because they were worried that nobody would summon for him otherwise and maybe he was just like a one-time anomaly or is he setting a new standard that's my question right like are they are they only you know yeah like i said like what did they only make him that busted because they were worried that like that banner would just be would be a total bust otherwise because i think ultimate gohan while being a somewhat hype character it's not the most hype right i mean at least not to me at least not to me i could be wrong don't get mad ultimate gohan fans out there all right if you love him that's fine i just feel like it wasn't like the most hype release until we saw how stupid broken he was. So yeah, it, it could be a one-time thing and maybe the, the units after that will be a little bit more 
you know, reasonable as far as power goes. But what if the Gohan is just setting the new standard and subsequent releases just, are just going to be even better than him and even more busted? And that's going to be wild, man. I'm, I don't even know like what's going to happen after this, but it's exciting. It's exciting. So yeah, definitely save up. No matter what happens, save up for the down celebration, which is coming very, very soon. And uh, we got to use an item here, I think. Yeah, okay, we gotta use an item. Look at that, 79,000, 60,000, and 42,000. It's not gonna end well, guys. Uh, so I'm gonna put the Rose... No, we don't have a Rose here. Oh, no, Rose and Zamasu. Yeah, Rose and Zamasu in the first slot. Or maybe in the second slot. Um, we're at full HP, so we probably don't have to item. But... Man, he hits so hard. I feel like we're still gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna risk it. You know, sometimes, gotta take risks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, if that was a super, we would have been super dead already, man. Damn. Yeah, I was not expecting that. At the very least, we have the type of advantage here, so. Shouldn't be too bad, right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay, we got a little bit lucky there. If if that super landed on the STR LR Goku Black, it would have been over, guys. Like this would have been <laughs> this would have been a super. Actually, I probably wouldn't have released this because I'm, I'm not gonna show the team dying on Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Okay, so we got the active skill for the Rose here. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that until later. Uh, 180,000 defense for the TUR Rose, 113,000 for the LR. That's pretty solid. So, no items needed here either. Just give him those, give him these. That's a full 24k super. That's going to hit really hard. Yeah, that super is going to hit really hard. I'm going to say attack stat probably around 7 million or close to. Maybe a little bit more than 7 million actually. So, we got big bad bosses now. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, double super from the TUR Rose, I like that. I like to see that. <sighs> Alright, and for the LR Rose, we are getting almost 7 mil. Alright, 6.89 with no supports. With no supports, creating for 4.5. Yo. <laughs> That's so ridiculous, man. That is so ridiculous. Okay, item item is definitely necessary here. All right, I I, I held back before, but um, I think it's time, and I think I'm gonna put the LR Goku Black there. Actually, I'm gonna put him in the middle. We have the type advantage here with the Zamasu, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna pop an Icarus. And uh, just give him one orb there, give him a full 24k super there. And I want to save these, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it should be okay. And of course, at the end of this showcase, when we get to the MUI, uh, we're definitely going to be popping those. What do you call it again? The burrow cookies. Pop those the burrow cookies, try to go for one big nuke on the MUI. I will be very, very sad, guys. Very, very sad if the MUI dodges that Rose Super. That would really suck. Because I've been looking forward to it this entire time. Like I'm I'm I've been thinking about that at the back of my mind this entire time. And if he dodges that super, it's just gonna suck. Okay, there's the super from the UI 214. Mm, it's okay. I'll live. I'll live. Alright, um, so int Rosie 160k, LR Rosie 87k, uh, we still have the Icarus active, so I think we'll be fine. As you can see, man, before we even give the LR Rosie any orbs, he already has an 18 key super going. So, even though he does start off with key issues, they don't, they don't persist, you know, they don't remain. In longer events like this, it will be just fine for key. But that's one thing I do. Want, I do really want to highlight about this unit. Um, 
because that's like the main criticism I've always heard about him. People are like, oh, but his key issues, you know, he sucks for key, he can't get his ATK super. And that's just straight up not true. For, for shorter events, yes. So if you're, if you're thinking about like doing a easy event or something like that, then maybe bring another Rose or bring someone else in his place. Uh, but even then, he's still going to be hitting pretty hard with his 12 key. You know, his 12 key is still consistently doing like 3, 3.5 mil, uh, getting 3.5 mil attack, which is, you know, as much as a lot of units like max super or like tw uh, 18 key super, right? So I just don't really think it's an issue, <laughs> to be honest. But am I biased? Maybe. <laughs> I might be a little bit biased because he is rainbowed for me, right? So that could just be like the... Uh, what do you call it? The the rose tinted glasses talking. Is that the right term to use? Or, ah, forget it. Don't. I didn't say anything. Forget that. Moving on. Uh, oh, we, should, we should play it safe here. Uh, so let's pop the princess snake. We still got pl we still got plenty of items, so I don't really think I need to, you know, conserve them. Especially if that nuke at the end actually manages to kill MUI in one shot. But that would make my life, man. My, my Dokkan life, not like my life overall. <laughs> but that, that would make my day as far as Dokkan is concerned. So, yeah, please. Dokkan gods, just don't... Uh, don't let MUI dodge that. Okay, because that would make me so sad. And I might just not release this video if that happens. That's how depressed I'll be. Okay? So, yeah, just don't let it happen. <laughs> Hmm. <sighs> Damn. Okay, so yeah, I, was, I put this guy in the back here because I was hoping that he would kill him, and he does. Okay, so I think his passive is actually max now. Or is that the second and final blow? I don't remember. <laughs> I, I need to like keep like a tally or something at the side of the at the side of my table <laughs> to record that stuff. All right, guys, it's time. The time has come. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, let me let me first give this guy some orbs. Okay, and then we're gonna pop a Deborah cookie. Hopefully, get a bunch of orbs here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is gonna be good. <laughs> Yo, this is gonna be really good. Okay, so there we go. Deborah cookie worked out perfectly. That worked out perfectly. Um, I'm gonna pop an Icarus just to be safe though. I don't I don't know why, I just I have a feeling. And uh Man, that's 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 gonna be fun. And there you go. So can we one shot the UI Goku? That is the question, or the MUI rather, that's the question I've been wondering this entire time. We got a full board with a Debora cookie. So he should be getting a lot of attack here. What is it? Okay, 11.2. 11.2. He doesn't dodge it. If we crit here, that's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, we didn't crit. Wow, we didn't even come close to one-shotting, eh? <laughs> okay. I might have overestimated him a little bit. <laughs> I might have overestimated him a little bit. That's my bad. Whoa. We still took 212k... This, this is what I was talking about for his defense, right? I was like, you can still be good defensively, but clearly not that good still, right? I mean, this guy does hit really hard, so you gotta cut him some slack, right? Um, but yeah, you still gotta be careful here. So I think we can get away without using any extra items here, since the Fusion Zamasu actually doesn't have any attacks coming. We'll be fine this turn without popping anything extra. But yeah, I, I overestimated that Depora Cookie's effectiveness. <laughs> I really did. I was I was thinking, I mean, if we crit, we probably would have taken out like around half his HP, but not all his HP. So yeah, no no one shotting happened here. The nuke was not as impressive as I was hoping for, but it was still good. On on the bright side, it hit. Right, at least it landed. It would have been a lot worse if it didn't land. Although, I probably should have brought another item instead of the Deborah cookie now. Seeing like how we didn't kill him or like come close to killing him with that with that uh, super. 
if I brought like another you know, waste or something like that, it would have helped their chances of surviving a lot more. But I think we'll still be okay. I think we'll still be okay. <laughs> Alright, so I think now's the time to pop that active skill. For anybody that hasn't seen this animation, enjoy. Because it is, in my opinion, one of the best animations. Uh, one of the best transformation animations, at least, in the game. And uh, anybody that has seen it, it's still dope. It's still dope. So this turn, we are going to be immortal. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have a ton of orbs to get like supers off. So it's going to be a bunch of 12 key supers, which is still okay. It just would have been better if we can get that 18 key off. Wait, actually, 12 key and 18 key... Are they different animations? <laughs> I don't remember actually. They should, they should be, right? Oh no, they are. They are for sure. Never mind, they are for sure. Uh, that was stupid. That was a stupid question. Because for a second I was like, maybe he only has one super in his rage mode, but I forgot he actually has two different ones. Because the other one is where he does like the whole like the like the cross. Um Yeah, which you know obviously we didn't get here. But as you can see, man, pretty pretty good damage. Uh, overall from the from the rage mode it's not as high as you know just his normal output but the, the part about being like immortal is a nice bonus yeah, so how much defense do we have here so 93k 87k 200k um I think if we just pop this we should be fine at this point, I'm just being a little bit like extra cautious. I know I probably don't have to, but we've gone so far now. I don't want to just like die. <laughs> and we, we didn't come in, you know, trying to do a no item showcase or a no item run with the team. So if we if that's not the goal, then there's no point in taking risks, right? That's that's my philosophy, at least. So, yeah, we're not going to use all the items, but uh, if we have to use items, we will. He's close to death if we... If we crit with the int LR Rose, he's probably done. Although, as, as you guys saw, I'm not really good at predicting the damage numbers. <laughs> so maybe not. Alright, what's this gonna do? Ooh, 3.2. Close. Almost at him. Almost at him. Now, if this man crits, then it's over, right? Ah, we came so close. Alright, so it looks like next turn it's gonna be... Probably the, the, the fusions of Masu or the AGLs of Masu. Yeah, let's let's pop this active skill. Ah, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's use the Princess Snake first. If I use the Princess Snake, then I feel safe about it. Then I'll pop that active skill. And we'll finish it off with the fusions of Masu here. I mean, he's the leader of the team, so it would make sense to give him the the opportunity to finish things off, right? So yeah, no, this is perfect. I, I intended for this to happen this way. This was my intention <laughs> from the very start. All right, so you take those, uh, you take one, you take that one, and you take that full 24 key super. And one way or another, it's ending here, guys. That is the Ningen Destroyer team. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed the run. Uh, yes, yo, we got so lucky with the dodges, or the lack of dodges, rather. Like, at this point, he would have usually dodged at least, like, four or five of my supers. But I don't think he's dodged a single one in this run, so we got pretty lucky there. But yeah, this team is a lot of fun, man. It's it's quite uh, monstrous offensively, defensively. As you saw, it does struggle a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And the healing, the persistent healing... From a bunch of these units um, does help a lot with the, te the team's ability to survive harder events. So there you go, guys. That is the Ningen Destroyer team once again. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Would you make any adjustments to it to make it even better? Um, I thought about bringing actually Gawasu and Zamasu since that would still count under the theme. Uh, I don't know. Gawasu being in there might kind of ruin the theme. So maybe not. I kind of thought about it. I was like, because they have the dodging and they have the support too for the defense. So maybe it would have made sense. But uh, now that I think about the fact that Gawasu wouldn't really fit the theme, I'm kind of glad I didn't. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that is the team. Um, let me know in the comments down below once again what you guys think about it. 
and hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys had fun. I had a lot of fun making it for you, so that's at least worth something. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.